the, the words that came out of the protectors about it, as I answered the phone, was AKA is down. So it didn't hit me. So I'm trying to understand, like, what are you saying? AKA, he said, AKA is down. AKA's bodyguard speaks out. Anwar Dog Khan opened up about the rapper's murder. Protocol was breached. On 10 February, Kiernan AKA Forbes, a popular rapper, was murdered outside Wish Restaurant on Florida Road in Durban in the presence of his team and bodyguards. The incident involved two gunmen who opened fire in full view of CCTV cameras and also killed celebrity chef and author Tabel Tibbs Matsoan. In an interview aired on 21 March on the E.TV show My Guest Tonight with Annika Larson, AKA's bodyguard Anwar Dog Khan discussed what happened that night in his absence. Dog who owns the Pentagon Group Bodyguard Service and had been protecting Akka for the past eight years whenever the musician was in Durban, was already booked to provide security to us rapper Abbas Bass Hamid during Akka's final visit to the KwaZulu natal city. He assigned one of his employees to protect Akka in his absence. Dog has provided VIP security for several international stars, including Oprah Winfrey, Snoop Dogg, Alicia Keys, Kendrick Lamar, and the late Michael Jackson. According to him, 90% of their work involves planning and scheduling to reduce threats and restrict movement. If he had been there, he would have prevented AKA from going to Florida Road that night since there were no plans for him to go there. Dog revealed that AKA had been receiving threats, and he had also received this information during his interview with Sunday Times a week after the rapper's death. AKA began hearing about threats shortly after his fianchi, Anili Nili Tembi, died in April 2021. Although Dog refused to elaborate, he said that the threats always came from the same place. He further said that AKA did not have any beef with any musician or women or was involved in any drug deals. His insurance and record label deals were also in place. Dog strengthened his security and reduced his movements. And even with all those restrictions, AKA would fly in, go straight to the performance, and then go straight back to either a private jet or take a late flight straight out of KwaZulu Natal. Is there anything you could have really done to change it? You know, it would be, be unfair for me to say and evaluate the services that were deployed by the protector at that particular time. 90% of our work is the manner in which you move. It's your planning, it's how you pre-plan and how you, how you schedule your, your, your timing and your placing of yourself as a person. If I know that at a certain time or whatever that, and a certain place that you're going to go to, um, I would recommend not to go. Because anything, when we say restricted movement, it means I'm reducing attacks, I'm reducing threats, I'm reducing everything, so I'm restricting your movement. So in other words, I say I'm picking up from the airport, I'm taking it to the hotel. From the hotel, to the show, from the show to the hotel, from the hotel into the airport. No additional movements on the site. In my absence, okay, uh, protocol was breached. Keenan was called and invited to go to Florida Road Wish, which he accepted and he went. Had I been there, that protocol would have not been breached because simply because that call would have came through the road manager. So would you have said, AKA, you're not going to Wish tonight? Yeah, I don't think we should go there. We are not going there. 